Okay, real quick, the next thing I wanted to do is uh, demonstrate how to extract the connection string out of your source code and into a more secure file, which is your .env. The, the reason the .env is considered more secure um, is you really, uh, you don't put your .env on GitHub, you know, um, and um, therefore someone with access to your repo isn't gonna see, isn't gonna see your credentials. And so right now, um, our, our connection string is line six. And so in order to do this, in order to extort this in .env, the next step would be to install npm install dot env. Um, so that's step one. Go ahead and install dot env. Now, if you see here, I already did that, right? I installed dot env and I get the version 16.14. Okay, so I have dot env installed. Now, as we did in a um, prior um, video, uh, we have to create a new file that's literally called .env. So you'd go here, new file, type in the uh, period env and hit enter. I've already created that file, so I'm not gonna create that file twice. And then you have to bring in the .env into your, into your JavaScript file. And this syntax is a little bit different. Um, and so I'm going to import star. We did this in the first week, dot env from dot env. And then you say dot env dot config. Okay, what that allows, these two lines is, um, and I'm going to delete that line of code here. Um, that allows us to take this variable, which was just a regular variable in our JavaScript, we're gonna extract it, cut, extract. I'm gonna highlight line 11, I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna paste, and here uh, the convention is to not have the const keyword, it's just a URI in all caps, and no semicolon at the end. So I literally just create this variable called URI. It is a environment variable now, and we have access to it. Now notice this variable lowercase uri no longer exists. We have access to it through this line of code here. Process dot env. And then now I can hit dot and this is where you type in the name of your variable. And ours was capital uri. Okay, so we've extracted our connection string which is this line here with our credentials and again the URL for the Mongo cluster into a .env file. We imported .env into our server.js, uh, our index.js JavaScript, and we replace the variable with process.env.uri and if this is all up and running we can run node index.js and still hit our database. So that is extracting the connection string out of the source code. So just a quick one-off and, and you know what's about to uh, our next video, my next video will be a little bit more of a lecture on um, tying this all in together.